Hello, and welcome to the Dr. Rebecca Baxt podcast. I'm Dr. Rebecca Baxt, board-certified dermatologist, and I'm here to discuss with you all issues relating to the skin that you're in. In this podcast, we will tackle the topic of the day quickly to get you the take-home points that you need. After listening to an episode, you should be educated about the topic and able to fix the issue yourself or well-prepared to ask the right questions at your next dermatology appointment. Let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about molluscum. Molluscum contagiosum is a viral infection of the skin. It is very common. It is completely harmless, but it is very annoying. It will go away on its own if you leave it alone, but it can take up to two years or so. So many patients want it treated and do not want to wait. Molluscum is very common in kids, and they often get it in the summer from just casual body contact with other children, and it spreads around fairly easily. It is very common for siblings to give it to each other. However, it is very uncommon for parents to get it from their kids. When adults get molluscum, it is usually in the groin area or on the body, and it is often considered a sexually transmitted disease from bodily contact. However, I've also seen it in adults from waxing, particularly women from waxing their legs or their groin, bikini area, or on their faces. Molluscum, when you see it, is small pink or whitish or skin-colored little bumps. It often affects a whole area, and there's multiple little bumps, and they will have dozens of them, for example, all over the legs or all over an arm or the stomach, etc., It really can be anywhere on the body. However, if you have very dry skin or are prone to eczema, molluscum in particular likes that type of skin, and you can often see a clustering in dry skin or eczema areas, so it's important to keep your skin moisturized to prevent it from spreading around. Molluscum do not hurt. They are typically asymptomatic. Really, people often don't even know that they have them. Sometimes I see them on a physical examination and the patient didn't even know it was there. They are very small usually. So for a brief summary, we've talked about the fact that molluscum is a virus. It's spread from person to person. It looks like tiny little bumps. It's asymptomatic. It likes to go to dry skin areas. And as a reminder, it is not harmful and it can go away on its own if given enough time. But now let's talk about how we diagnose and treat it. So if someone comes into my office and we are looking and trying to diagnose molluscum, Most dermatologists can look at a molluscum and know that that's what it is because it has a very distinctive look to it. Sometimes you'll hear about something called a DEL, which is like a little indentation in the middle of the little circular bump. And that is often a sign that the infection is a viral infection that is molluscum. So often we can just diagnose it by looking at it. If we are not sure, we will take a biopsy. A skin biopsy is a quick, easy procedure where we clean the skin, we numb it, we shave a little tiny bump off, we send it to the lab and find out, indeed, what is it. Once we've done a skin biopsy, there can be a little tiny scar there, so we'll only really do that if necessary or if the patient really wants it done. But oftentimes, molluscum is just based on a clinical diagnosis. Now let's move on to treatment. First, if it's an adult and it appears to be sexually transmitted, we recommend full testing for STIs to make sure everything is negative. But let's just move on to general treatment options. Firstly, no treatment is an option since I already said that it will go away on its own and it's harmless and often asymptomatic. But by the time people get to me, they typically want it treated. But there is nothing wrong with saying, okay, leave it be and a lot of people will prefer to do that. Once people get to my office, we're usually going over all the different treatment options. So one option is an over-the-counter cream, such as Differin, which is a retinoid, or a wart remover, which you can buy in the foot section, and taking a toothpick or a Q-tip and just applying the medicine to the lesions themselves at night. This usually gets the lesions irritated, and then they fall off. You definitely have to be careful because these medications can be very irritating and you want to try to just get it on the molluscum. I do not recommend covering it, and this is often best done with a doctor's direction. 
Next, there are prescription creams such as Retin-A or Amiquimod, which are not really FDA approved for molluscum in particular, but which are stronger than the -the over-the-counter things that are available and can help induce an immune response to get the body to fight off the virus and or irritate it enough that it goes away. So same idea as the -the over-the-counter, there are prescription creams that will work similarly. Next option is cryotherapy. So cryotherapy is freezing the lesions, and that is usually done with a spray gun or can be done with a little Q-tip. I don't recommend the -the over-the-counter version. I don't think that works at all, but an in-office cryotherapy treatment by a board-certified dermatologist can be very helpful. However, it does hurt a little bit. For somebody who is concerned about pain or for sure for a child, I would recommend topical numbing cream in advance and then wiping off the numbing cream and doing a little cryotherapy. Typically, we have to do this more than once, but it irritates them and they fall off. There is typically not scarring, although there is a small risk of it. Another option for an in-office treatment would be something called Wycanth. Wycanth is a brand new medication that was just FDA approved recently in this country And it is an in-office application of a solution that can cause irritation and blistering, and then the molluscum goes away. It is nice because it's FDA approved. It doesn't hurt when you put it on. It works well. It's been FDA approved in Canada for many years, and people would import it and use it. But now it is FDA approved here. It's a slightly different formulation and methodology, but basically the same idea. And It's great for kids who are concerned about pain because it doesn't hurt. It makes it a little easier for parents so that you don't have to do something at home every night and fight with your kid about it before bed. And you don't have to bring them to an office for a treatment that hurts and then they want to come. So I do think it's very useful. It is also very expensive. Um, But if your insurance covers it and you and your doctor discuss it and that's the best thing, then great, it works well. Alternatively, we can actually just remove the molluscum with curatage, just numb them up with numbing cream or a numbing shot and literally just scrape them off because they are very superficial. They usually come off pretty easily. This is not something to try at home, but can be done by a dermatologist in the office. The downside is it hurts a little bit, is kind of messy afterwards because now it's all scabby. And There is a theoretical risk of leaving a scar from this, but I would say oftentimes there is no scar because it is so superficial. So in summary, molluscum contagiosum is a common virus in kids and adults. It is transmitted from person to person, but it is harmless and can go away on its own. There are, however, many treatments, effective treatments to do at home or in the office, and it is best to talk to your board-certified dermatologist to see which option is right for you. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Dr. Rebecca Bax podcast. I'm Dr. Rebecca Bax, board-certified dermatologist. I hope this episode was informative and that you enjoyed listening. If you found this podcast useful, please give us a five-star rating wherever you get your podcasts. It helps others find us so we can help them too. Just a caveat to remember, this is not medical advice, and please see your dermatologist or doctor for questions pertaining to your specific situation. I look forward to talking with you again in the next episode.